Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play 007 Bloodstone. Sorry it's taken me so long to get this video out. Uh, I'm sure you all know how things get around the holidays. If you don't remember what we were doing, and I really wouldn't blame you if you didn't, uh, we were basically assaulting this refinery, which we're now heading towards the heart of. You take a look at them. The rest of you, come with me. Patrol 26, entering section C. No sign of target. Over. Copy 26. Conduct full search. Target still moving. This guy here is one of the few guys who won't just approach the corner we're standing behind, so we sort of have to uh, actually put some work into taking him out. Now, like I said, we're attacking a refinery. Basically, the bad guy, Stefan Pomerov, in case you don't remember, uh, has been using this refinery to produce biological or chemical weapons. And uh, that's, that's the kind of thing we really want to stop. It's kind of funny, despite all the shooting we did last time, the guards here aren't on particularly high alert. In any case, a new weapon, the M3T, is a, uh, well, it's a shotgun. The game's not really built for shotguns, but it does do reasonable damage, at least at close range. Hey, you guys seen anything? Control think he's gonna be coming this way. No, it's all quiet. We got teams stationed all over the place. Well, stay on your guard. Sounds like he was only a few feet from Pomerov. Yes. Yeah, keep your safeties off. I'm going to meet with the other squads. Yes, sir. Let's, uh, let's test this shotgun out. Yep, it works. Even at long range, it does tend to sort of stun guys, so you can... You can use it in pretty much any situation. 007, this control room coordinates the refinery's core systems. Access the central control panel, and I'll run a diagnostic. From the looks of things, it seems that if you override the coolant and exhaust systems, you'll be able to trigger a catastrophic chain reaction. Find the override valves, 007. You need to destroy those bioweapons. Right, so we have two, two ways we can go, hot and cold. It's winter up here in Canada, so I'm going hot first. I'm already kind of sick of the cold. As you can see in the bottom right, our first piece of intel is right here. It's one of these computers down here. And uh, we're not dealing with art this time. We're going to go straight into hybrid anthrax formula. Apparently, on this computer, we found the formula for some form of anthrax that is resistant to all vaccines. So, yeah, we got kind of serious pretty fast. The schematics show this route leads to the exhaust override. Lock the valve and cripple the refinery's heat extraction network. We 
got an ID on this intruder yet? Nothing. But the suspicion is that it's the same guy who worked over at Pomerov's casino. But no one's been able to come up with a positive ID. Nah, it doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon enough. Just another body in the lake. Another body? wonder how many bodies they have in the lake. Before we move on, uh, this ominous flaming pipe is another piece of intel. And this just tells us that the pipes are used for the exhaust system, but they haven't been maintained, so they're kinda dangerous. Unfortunately, that guy who was shooting at us uh, brought this guard. Usually we can sneak up on him. This area is pretty neat because you get to see uh, some bad guys from pretty far off. Most of the game is pretty close quarters. But let's use this opportunity to... Uh, Break the hell out of the focus aim system. Yep, instant kills. This level pulls a little bit of a Resident Evil, and both sides require us to use a plot uh, red crank. You've done it, Bond. Now head to the coolant station and override the safety features. Right, so we've achieved the objective. Now we just have to fight our way back to the central control room. They really don't make it easy on us. This section here is pretty much a gauntlet all the way back to the uh, control room. This section here is especially bad. They will just sort of keep throwing guys at you, and there's guys up above and below behind boxes. But like almost every single fight in this game, as long as you stay in cover and just pop out to shoot, there's really no risk. Although you do have to watch out for that guy who sneaks up behind you. He's killed me, well, lots of times. That's it. Should be an easy walk back to the, uh, back to the control room. Okay, maybe one more guy. Make 
make your way to the coolant station, 007. Override the system. Right, so you can see we made the uh, the hot side angry. Let's see if we can do the same to the cold. This level is kind of interesting, because I think it's one of the only ones in the game that even offers you some semblance of non-linearity, even if it is just a binary choice. Jesus, it's freezing in here. Oh, you're telling me. How long do we have to keep watching over someone there? Right, usually I can do this part a little bit sneakier than that, but not this time, apparently. If you haven't noticed by now, those uh, weird-looking crates do explode. Which can be both helpful and very, very dangerous, since you might think it will make good cover. The sort of mist in these cold rooms is kind of cool, but it's really annoying too. And anyway, another piece of intel, these containers. Again, it says they're full of coolant, and they're highly unstable, which of course is just telling us that they are some sort of environmental hazard, which we kind of found out by ourselves. You're heading towards the coolant system. Taking it down will cripple the refinery. This room's kind of a dick move because this guy right here stares at the door. And there's a guy off to there that's staring at him. So there's really no way to do this room stealthily. This ends up being a repeat of the last room. Pretty much stay in cover and take everyone out. Now before the next wave spawns in, our next piece of intel is this truck. And this is going to tell us that uh, it's used to move the crates of coolant. And again sort of hits us over the head with the fact that Pom Pomerov doesn't really do things by the book. He's breaking a lot of rules in this refinery. I've got the shot! I think this is the last guy of the room, so once we take him out, we should be good to move on. I'm gonna go back and switch out my weapons, though. If I can find any. There we go, AK-74.
Both the doors in this hallway will lead you to the same place, just via different ladders. And at the top of it we find another red crank. Now this part's actually kind of cool. It obscures your vision even more. But the entire point is you have a time limit to run all the way across these catwalks. And bad guys will keep sort of coming out of the mist at you. It's actually a lot of fun to play. That's it, Bond. Well done. Activate the central control panel. This will launch the chain reaction and trigger the meltdown. I think it's pretty funny how Bond walks away as if nothing happened at all. But, as you can see from the control room, things are not looking good for the refinery. Let's play with that computer a little more. Nicole? James, where are you? What's taking so long? Meet me outside with the car running as quickly as possible. I'm on my way. Kind of forgot about Nicole, didn't you? Well, she's still here, and apparently she's come to get us with the car. This place is going downhill fast. We do not want to stick around. Kind of weird that their announcements are in English now that I think about it. Anyway, last piece of intel is a weapon crate for the M3T. And this is just going to tell us what I already told you about the shotgun. Just says it's only really good at close range. Pretty standard. Besides the weapon crate, though, there's actually a new weapon sitting here beside it. The DSR-1, which is a sniper rifle. It's not, ex it's not exactly the best weapon to pick up right now, because you only have one clip of ammo with it. But uh, there's enough ammo lying around in this next area. I wonder why that is. Oh, where are you? I'm on my way. I got held up. Right, so this area is sort of a holdout uh, section. We pretty much want to stay here behind cover with all the ammo, and guys are going to continuously rush us from pretty much everywhere. Well, that was the end of our sniper rifle, so we're just going to switch to this uh, MP5 to try and take some guys out. It may not seem like it, but you actually have to be careful, because some of these guys try and come around you. There's no reason they can't come up and get right behind your cover, and if they do, you'll probably die pretty quick. Okay, I've got the car. That right there signals about the halfway point of this section, with all the stuff exploding on our right. 
Guys are going to start coming from the left instead. You can see they added a marker for Nicole now. She's about a kilometer and a half away, but uh, closing fast. We successfully survived. Let's go meet Nicole. So this level ends with a car waiting for us. Guess what we get to do next time. See you guys then.